Today's episode of Always I Yell It is brought to you by Mt. Gox, mtgox.com and usgoldcoins.com, 1-800-HOT-COIN and Mezzy Grill, M-E-Z-E Grill.com. Always I Yell It is the foremost internationally acclaimed authority on developing true connections. Ayelet is the founder and CEO of Universal Connections, Inc., the world's premier relationship firm that is revolutionizing life through holism and truth. A highly sought life and relationship coach, professional matchmaker, astrologer, philosopher, and author, Ayelet is always Ayelet. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the premier episode of Always Ayelet. I'd love to hear from you, and you can give me a jingle at my Ask I Yell It voicemail, 212-569-6969. Again, 212-569-6969. Or you can email me at ayelet at onlyonetv.com. That is ayelet, A-Y-E-L-E-T, at onlyonetv.com. If you ask a question, I may answer it on an upcoming episode. And honoring me today with his presence is a very dear friend, <laughs> Timothy Moss. Thank you so much for joining oh. me on my very first episode of Always I Yell It. It's a great honor to have you on, on my show. <laughs> oh, I yell it. I am so excited for you. Thank and you. congratulations, and the honor is mine, Thank being you. your first guest on your show. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Oh, and I mustn't forget, audience, that this is Oscar. He's my co-host. He'll mm -hmm. be uh, joining us as well at his choice and will, <laughs> his free will. Oh, Oscar's wonderful. So um, we're here today to mm -hmm. talk about life, love, and relationships, and okay. you've uh, honored me with the opportunity to learn more about your life. We've talked a little bit off, off set, and now uh -huh. we're on set live, and you... Um, well, I am single and have been for much of my life. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure exactly. Can, um, why don't we take a minute and kind of talk about your show and what people can expect to well, see or, or experience okay. with your show? Well, what I do professionally, what I've done after years of extensive research mm -hmm. and hands-on experience, um, working with people in life, mm -hmm. love, and relationships as a mm. professional matchmaker, astrologer, and life and relationship coach, I've formulated the proven method to developing true connections. Wow. And um, I'm here to, I guess, share it with the audience uh -huh. and um, with you. Uh -huh. I offer one-on-one -on -one private consultations for my clientele. I've been renowned for matchmaking, very successful at that. Hmm. But my service isn't, my, in my business, it isn't dating. It isn't just matching people. Right. I discovered in years of experience and research doing this for so many years and having lived this, that there's there's something wrong and my my ideas my philosophy my unique approach transcends modern dating issues hmm. transcends what is pervading our society today mm -hmm. and i'm here to shed light on the truth and shatter the myths and the shackles that imprison us hmm. and confine us to perpetually seeking instead of perpetually living a mm -hmm. life of holism and what I refer to as a love-centered life. And that's what I'm here to help or to give. I audience. yell it. I yell it. That is wonderful. Thank you. That is fabulous. Thank you. Thank um, you. That, that you have discovered this and are sh is you're sharing it with the world. I think that's fabulous. Well, that's it's great. A, a lot of years of... Uh, well, I can understand. The, yeah. the, the, the knowledge or the insights are... I guess I, I, I can say they're sort of inherent, but the formulating of the paradigms that I've created and mm -hmm. developed over years and years of experience are tried and true and they're proven effective and they're, mm. the, they're the only proven approach to developing true connections. And I'm, hmm. I'm honored and excited to be here with you. Yes. And hopefully we can make some progress for you tonight. Oh, with, that would be wonderful. With understanding your life a little bit, uh -huh. your background, your, your, your um, issues, because what I've learned doing this, we're, we're each on a, on a journey, and my journey has been a journey of lessons, which has enabled me to, mm -hmm. to, teach, to teach others, to guide others, 
and to encourage others to help them find the strength they need and the courage they need to confront their truths mm -hmm. and live a life of holism and living a love-centered life. We live, you know, we're born into a material world of illusion. Oh, definitely. And oftentimes we lose sight of the real essence of our being, the reason we are here, the reason why we are who we are mm -hmm. and becoming who we are becoming. Mm -hmm. People think, oh, we just, you know, when you were kids, we're, we're, we're always said, oh, when I grow up, I'm going to be a fireman. Yeah. That's not the way it is. And we're misled from such a young age. Oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? Well, I right. want to be I yell it. Uh -huh. I mean, if someone had told me that, it, it would have made my life, <laughs> but I was always I yell it. And so I had a natural inclination to being the individual that I am. Uh -huh. and, um, and I guess I'm trying to help reinforce others with mm -hmm. that innate strength I have, I, I suppose. Yeah. Well, one thing, I was talking to someone the other day um, kind of along a similar line about how um, we were talking about like in, in the gay community the suicides of the younger, uh, the teenagers. And someone had mentioned that basically if they would have just trusted their, in, their own personal inner instincts, they would not have chosen to do that. You know, I, because so many people have a tendency to listen to the outside world and the outside world's fears. What people and their fears throw at them you have a choice of whether you're going to absorb that fear or whether you're just going to accept it. I love that example and it breaks my heart when I, when I hear that. I know there was a recent episode, a very newsworthy episode on, of a Rutgers student, a young Rutgers yeah. student. It was actually oh, known by family and friends of mine, very few people, and it's, heart, it's heartbreaking. Mm. But aside from just that inner struggle of, I have, I have a, if, if I may, mm -hmm, sure. the inner struggle of, of, of struggling with being you know, gay or homosexual, mm -hmm. and being subjected to the imposition of other people's fears. Right. How about the classic example of, you know, in today's recession, I, I really perceive our current economic crisis as a depression. I mean, I really believe this is a mm -hmm. financial depression we are in at this time. But aside from that, um, how about the classic case where, you know, the Wall Street stockbroker just lost his, you know, $500 million 401k yeah. and whatever he's, whatever, and, and, and has no identification with anything else on this earth mm -hmm. that it's time to blow my brains out or jump off the 18th floor of a building. Yeah. So Similar, anytime, yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. And I have to say that that which I know, and without sounding arrogant, but that which I know, Timothy, mm -hmm. has been substantiated through world experience that I've lived through. Yep. And why did these things happen to me, the things, personal things I've experienced in my life? They weren't to teach me lessons. Like people would say, oh, I yell it. You know, you're learning. I'm, no, I knew that. I never took that for granted. Mm -hmm. I never did that. You know, why? You know what it was? It was to test me. Hmm. It was to try and test me and show me that I already get it. Uh -huh. That when the worst thing that could potentially happen to you and you're all alone and it's just you and you can survive that, mm -hmm. let me tell you something, that is a testament. When all is taken from you materially right. and all you have is your soul to fall back on, mm -hmm. that is what having a conscience is about. Right. That is what being alive is about yeah and knowing that in that wealth that wealth that we cannot measure mm -hmm. that wealth that has no substance that wealth that has well it has substance but no material matter no material mm -hmm. gravity but is of utmost substance and of utmost wealth is our souls our spirits right. and agree. when you dishonor your soul you dishonor your spirit by doing anything whatsoever to hurt or injure yourself or another. Mm -hmm. You're dishonoring our creator, our source, yeah, exactly. and all others on this planet. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think we were talking off the, off the record earlier about religion and, mm -hmm. and, and God. And, and you know, I don't, I, and I, I think I said to you, I don't believe in religion uh -huh. because religion is created by man. Right. But if we acknowledge that our being is in essence spiritual 
And mm -hmm. all of this material that we're born into, our bodies, our looks, our clothes, right. the cars, the, it's, not, it's an illusion. Yeah, that's I not agree. real. That's I not agree. real. Mm -hmm. all, the only thing that's real is your soul. And as long as you're true to it, know who it is, mm -hmm. be true to it, that love that you are seeking mm -hmm. will come to you. Yeah. That's basically the crux. And I have the paradigms and all that. I the, love that. I yeah. love that. Well, just backing up to what you were saying about the Wall Street guy that maybe losing losing everything right because um, he, and you mentioned identity is because that is one of the problems in uh, like our capitalist society is we're taught that your identity is based upon how many material items or how much you have in the bank and that has nothing to do with who we are as individuals absolutely and our spirit any institution created by mankind, mm -hmm. any institution created by mankind as a form of identity, mm -hmm. whatever it may be, detracts from the essence of what an individual yeah. is about. Very true. And if one identifies one's own individual purpose, life purpose, what their mm -hmm. potential is, and, be, and is true to it, no matter what, you're at peace. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Addictions gone out the window. Yeah. Fear gone out the window. Mm -hmm. Health gone. Your health is going to be top of the yeah, lines. Exactly. You're going to eat well. You're going to sleep well. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a fulfilled life. And it, and it all starts within. You know, we're I constantly agree. seeking without. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you know, you flip through the back of New York Magazine. There used to be, we used to advertise in the back of New York Magazine. You know, the personal sections, the dating section of, from my company. Mm -hmm. And... It was personals, and today, flip through the back of New York Magazine, and what are we watching? Lipo mm -hmm. this, laser yeah. that. Mm. That's not the answer to your problems. Right. I'm not telling you not, don't take care of yourself, mm -hmm. don't right, look presentable, right. don't be you know, well hygiened and, and fastidious and whatever but godly qualities you may, you may have. Mm -hmm. That they are important. They're they're an indication of caring for oneself and honoring oneself. How we dress, how we present mm -hmm. ourselves, how we expose ourselves in certain situations. Mm -hmm. If you're at home and want to walk around naked, God bless you and God is watching. But that's okay because He yeah. made you. <laughs> but we want to honor ourselves. So we go to a church. I don't know. In the synagogue, it's customary to. I've been to churches before, and they wear shorts and sneakers. Mm -hmm. I was surprised by that. But it, it customary in the Jewish faith to, to, to a synagogue and to welcome the Sabbath. We wear special clothing, special mm -hmm. suits, fine clothing, because we're honoring. It's, a, it's, uh -huh. a, it's, a, it's an indication of honoring. You're going to a gala. You're going to an award ceremony. Mm -hmm. You're going to wear a black yeah. tie. You're gonna, you are, you, uh -huh. Because you're honoring yourself, you're honoring your hosts, and, you're, and it's about honor, caring mm -hmm. for yourself, tending yourself. It's not about the superficial. It's about being the best that you can be mm -hmm. and identifying your optimal potential. And I think what, what people lose sight of is when they're trying, Timothy, so hard to be anything but what mm -hmm. they are always destined to be. And sometimes the path is a little longer. Yeah. It's a little more tedious. Mm -hmm. The signs are on the wall. Have you, ever, have you read the book? I forget. The, oh, I should. Spencer? I believe, um, Who Moved um, My Cheese? No, no, I haven't. It's a brilliant book. I believe it's Dr. Spencer. Uh -huh. um, I will have the correct citation for next week's show. Uh -huh. But he wrote a brilliant book. It's a children's book. In fact, mm. I would read it to, to my children because it's a great book that teaches the lesson, the invaluable lesson of knowing to know the signs. Mm. Our con it is my belief that our un it is our unconscious and subconscious inclination to know inherent truths that are etched mm -hmm. in the spiritual DNA that makes our unique divine souls. Mm -hmm. We are born with this. And what happens is we're born into this world. We need to conform to materialism. And right. it's plagued with evils such as lies, manipulation, mm -hmm. yeah. deceit mm -hmm. that are conspiring, conspiring to achieve nothing right right nothing uh -huh. only the illusion of happiness and fulfillment mm -hmm. real happiness real fulfillment comes only in truth
Uh And that is what I'm here to help my clients to recognize and attain and achieve. That is amazing. That is wonderful. Thank you. And I can understand, I understand exactly what you're saying. Thank you. It's, um, again, it, it, I, as far as my identity, I was searching in all the wrong places and for 20 years in drugs and alcohol and all kinds of of chaos uh, and misery. And, uh, but in a way, I'm grateful for that segment of my life because that brought me to the understanding and the spiritual understanding that I have today, which again is the source, the happiness, the good, the prosperity, all of that is within me. And if you, well, you're, you said you were still single, right? Yes. Well, if you're whole, mm-hmm. truly whole, and I use the word whole, W-H-O-L-E, right. which is the core of the, exactly. of the concept of holism. Mm-hmm. Holism is, excuse me, holism is, a, is when your rational mind and emotional mind are in sync with your body, and soul mm-hmm. and manifests itself. Well, integrity, it's, that's more going into integrity is how it manifests. Mm-hmm. But holism is aligning your rational mind and your emotional mind with your body and mm-hmm. soul. Right. And if you do so and you are whole, it hurts. It doesn't take away the pain of loneliness. And I understand that pain very mm-hmm. well. As a professional matchmaker, that's the realm of my, of my world. That's mm-hmm. what I do. I, and, you know, it's, it's written. There is no greater travesty than, than loneliness. We're not born to be mm-hmm. alone. We're yeah. not married. You know, I know religions teach different things, and they are, there are misguided conceptions of what life is supposed to be. We marry yeah. to, to procreate. No. We marry to find companionship. Right, yeah. We marry to find someone to validate who we are, mm-hmm. to right. witness who we are, Mm -hmm. to share ourselves with, to teach us who we are, to challenge Mm -hmm. who we are. And if they are our true love, no matter what transpires, they will enhance who you are, who Mm -hmm. you are destined to be. Mm -hmm. Not detract, enhance. And if it's a mutual true love, which is what we all aspire to, we call that the shirt, Uh um, it will be mutual. Yeah, Imagine finding beautiful. someone, finding someone who enhances your life, who values you for who you are, mm. for what makes you uniquely special as an individual right. soul. That's what I'm looking for. That fulfills you. Mm-hmm. And, you're, and you meet this person, and guess what? You do the exact same thing for him. Right. That's like, exactly. wow. That's what, that's what I'm looking for. And I'm sorry. Oh, oh, that's all right. Um, that you had... Um, Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I just lost it. Um, something you were talking about before with the, uh, the growth, of the, the um, I'm sorry, go ahead. The consciousness. Ahead. No, 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 you were saying that's what you're looking for. Well, it's... it's uh, um, imagine meeting, I was saying I've, imagine I've meeting learned, someone. I've learned, I've learned, um, basically it's all about learning to love myself. My and, darling. And that's the only. That's the only thing it needs. Right. That's it's the loving thing, yourself. That's the thing that I have had difficulty with most I, of my life. Most of us do, my darling. And ninety-eight percent of relationships mm-hmm. are 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 destined to failure. But I am on the right path. Thank God. I am that. definitely, and okay. I see it, and I and feel I know it. it, and I feel it too. <laughs> and it, because I I went into rehab. Okay. And I started working on my mind because my mind was so turned around in the opposite direction. Okay. I've worked and worked and worked on turning my mind around for, for a couple of years. Okay. That came along at about the same time then my spiritual um, God, the universe, whatever you want to call it, began to materialize in my life. And so I started working like for a good couple of years seriously on my soul. So I've got the mind and that. the soul going. Tell me, tell me about now that. I'm beginning to work on the body. So I'm that's, trying to get the, the alignment. The body is the physical part. That's the right. easiest part. But the, right. what's, what's challenging in our world is that most people are just focusing on physical, 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 physical. Right. If the body is the last part, then God bless exactly. you, honey. You've got 99% <laughs> of the down pat. But tell me about your soul discovery. Tell me about that process for you. Oh, wow. Um, the Again, my journey... 
I knew when I started off in in the drugs, I was totally lost. What, 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 tell I me about your feel, first your first episode, your first ever time you took a drug. How old were you? What I happened? don't even remember. I mean, it was it had to have been like sixteen, seventeen, something like that. Where were you a party? Um, I don't remember. I think maybe a friend of mine had come over and picked me up, and we went out driving around and smoked a joint. I think. Okay. I See, think that might have been the first time. I, I always say, <laughs> I'm always having this debate with very dear, you know, very, I mean, my, my friends don't use drugs, but one or two people have experimented in the past or may occasionally mm -hmm. defend it and say, oh, it's just marijuana, it's healthy for you. It's, I'm mm -hmm. like, you know what? I don't even take Tylenol. I mean, now Tylenol is bad for you anyway, but aspirin. Yeah. Uh -huh. Unless there's something severely physically wrong with me, I don't mm -hmm. take anything because everything, this is another spiritual healed. lesson. There's right. a spiritual lesson in this. Anything and everything you truly need, not yes. want, need, right. you already have. I agree with you, sister. You already <laughs> have. So we don't need drugs. Oh, I want to feel good. I want to get the buzz off. You know, I mean, I don't, I don't want you to think of me as some kind of prude. I mean, I'll have a margarita if I'm having uh -huh. dinner. You know, I might have two. I might even have a bottle of wine one night <laughs> with a Whatever. friend. But my point is, it's not... That's not the objective. The objective right. isn't having a bottle of wine. Right. The objective is enjoying a cocktail or enjoying a meal or mm -hmm. enjoying a good bottle of wine with a special friend in, mm -hmm. in, in the company of someone special. Um, seeking to be in an altered state of... Because we can't accept reality. Yeah, right. I tell this to each of my clients in our, my first sessions, my first one-on-one -on -one with them. The human, and, and when I talk about astrology, I'm one of my ta you know, talents as a, as a professional astrologer, which we can talk about if we have enough time today. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll, I'd love to have you back on another uh, show. Any time. <laughs> but, um, astrology is a language of energies, and astrology right. yeah, is the truth. The, 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 the mantra for the National Council for Geocosmic Research is uh, distellis ad veritatem, which is Latin for from the stars to the truth. Mm -hmm. And it is. <laughs> it's all in the stars. Yeah, and yeah. it's not a religion. And it's not. Um, it's a language of energies. And I'm mm -hmm. that makes attuned sense. to this language. Mm -hmm. And I, I'll get into that whole diatribe at some later point in time. But what I was, where I was going with this is that um, when I sit down with clients for the first time, and my clients, just so you, know, you understand, they're well-educated, successful mm -hmm. professionals that are conservatively trained. They're not right. actors or creative ones necessarily. Mm -hmm. I mean, I work with people of all backgrounds, ages, and professions, but predominantly well-educated, successful professionals, attorneys, mm -hmm. physicians, critical thinkers, analytical thinkers. These people, and that's why I'm so renowned in my field, because they, and that's why they're challenged um, personally. Mm -hmm. They're critical minds have no place, my darling, in their personal lives. Mm, yeah, yeah. There's no place for ego. That which makes you so successful yeah. is usually a fear-based drive to succeed. True, very true. It's usually a fear-based fear of failure. Mm -hmm. It's usually a it's usually something that is driving that ambition, mm -hmm. or or and, and and that's a good thing. As long as you understand, and what I, my, my tagline is balancing life with love. Mm -hmm. Yes, be the star that you are. Be the rock litigator that you are. Be the you know, Wall Street genius that you mm -hmm. are. That's all good. But apply, sounds the ego that's driving you, but apply those principles that drive your professional and material success mm -hmm. to your personal life. Hmm. And imagine the outcome. And rule number one in that regard is leave your ego at the door. Yeah. I mean, how many times do you have to call a great customer before you get them on your show or before mm -hmm. you get their sale? Mm -hmm. You know, a, a superstar rainmaker doesn't take no for an answer. He keeps calling. Right. He doesn't have an ego. Mm -hmm. He wants to close the sale. He knows this person needs him. Mm -hmm. He knows this person is going to have value in his service or, or product. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't take no for an answer. So why do we take no for an, our, why do we settle? Instead why do of we select. 
Thank you. <laughs> Why do we settle? Why do we take no for an answer? Why do we say no to our souls mm -hmm. in our personal life when all the while they are yelling at us, yelling at us? I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Right, right. But uh -huh. the crowd is saying, oh, let's go have a beer. Oh, let's go hook up. Let's, I don't know what they're saying these days. Mm -hmm. I really have detached and isolated myself mm -hmm. into my work, which good, bad, it is what it is. But I'm whole with that. That's who I am. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it's good for me. But my point is that um, in a, when I teach my clients about astrology, because generally they're traditionally trained, conventional minds, they might look at me a little funny. Oh, I don't know. I don't believe in it. And I'll say, well, mm -hmm. do you believe in God? And they'll say yes, or they'll say no. Mm -hmm. I'm an atheist. And I'll say, okay, well, do you believe in science? And they'll probably say yes. And I'll say, okay, well, then do you believe that there's an energy force within you? Mm -hmm. And they'll say, yeah, I, I have energy. I feel there's a, an energy force within me. Okay, well, what did you learn? I remember in seventh grade science class, and I wasn't mm -hmm. that, well, I, actually I was. History wasn't my strong suit then, <laughs> but science I was doing pretty well at. Um, <laughs> science class, junior high, high school, energy never dies. Uh -huh. It only gets transformed. Yeah, true, true. So do you believe that? And they'll say yes, and I'll say, okay, well, guess what? Astrology isn't a religion. I don't care if you believe it, because for a fact, in 1492, the consensus of the population on the planet believed the Earth was flat. Right, right. 150 years ago, the consensus on the planet believed you couldn't cut open someone's chest, pull out their heart, and replace it with another, mm -hmm. and yet continue to be alive. Mm -hmm. And today it is being done every day. So what you believe is irrelevant to what is true. Mm -hmm. So why is astrology an occult science? Why is it a metaphysical science? Why is it a hidden truth? And the answer I tell my clients when I ask that rhetorical question in session, as I say to them, I say, astrology is a hidden truth because the human psyche is not equipped to handle the truth. Hmm. In fact, modern psychology has, paraphr I'm paraphrasing, but has um, cited five stages to, to a human response to hmm. any trauma. Do you know what the first stage to responding to a trauma is? Respo like if something if traumatic, traumatic happens. happened to you, what would be your what would be the first response, first human inclination you would have to, to in response to that? Fear. I don't. I'm. I'm trying to think of what. what there are five stages or psychological five stages. Five stages. Yep. Like like denial yep. and. There and, you go, my darling. Uh -huh. Denial. Mm -hmm. Denial. Yeah, that it the even happened. The human psyche will deny any pain first. As it's, and hopefully if it's got support, if the, if the individual has support and is being treated and, or has the strength within to heal, to go through the healing process, mm -hmm. he'll eventually achieve acceptance after depression and anger and bargaining, etc., yeah. etc. But denial, why? Mm -hmm. Why do we deny? Something traumatic just happened. Because that's the way the human psyche is wired mm -hmm. to respond. Yeah, I think it takes a little while to process and understand and, and, why and, it happened. And sadly, my sweetheart, mm -hmm. Timothy, sadly, I can call you Timothy. Oh, right? you call me anything. Because I like calling it. <laughs> that's fine. That's <laughs> so sweet. Because I like calling appropriate names. But sadly, so most people are so stuck in the denial phase of their reality. Mm. Uh -huh. Right. And it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah. And yeah. And these are very successful people, they're attorneys, they're physicians, they're mm -hmm. investors, they're business people, they're amazing people. And they can't own their truth. And it's sad uh -huh. because even though they convince themselves or attempt to convince themselves, um, there is sufficient evidence to, to cite and prove that they aren't really happy. Mm. And each person... In my belief, it is my firm belief that every person born onto this earth is here for one, one exclusive mm -hmm. reason. To be and become exactly who they are and who they are destined to become. Mm -hmm. Without constraints, without inhibi inhibitions, without limitations. Mm -hmm. And to love and be truly loved. Mm -hmm. 
And if you're not being truly loved, guess what, darling? It's not love. Move on. That's true. And if you're not able to truly love, mm -hmm. it's not love. Mm -hmm. Move on. And yes, you, you said it brilliantly earlier, and I'm so proud of you for acknowledging mm. that. That is the, you got the answer. And I guess it was your, your suffering and your pain and the, the cycle that you took. Yeah. It's all about loving yourself. And not just saying, oh, I love myself. Yeah. Oh, I'm happy. Yeah. I love myself. I love myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's not yeah. it. No, it's honoring <laughs> yourself. It's uh -huh. knowing who you are. It's constantly, continuously, Mm -hmm. Without failure, never denying your feelings, your thoughts, your ideas, your desires, mm -hmm. your will, your tastes. Mm -hmm. It's always, always being true to you. Yeah. And yeah. Um, that's love in yourself. Yeah. That's yeah. honoring yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you can't love and honor yourself and know yourself, there's no way you'll ever be able to attract it mm -hmm. from, from, anyone, right. from anyone in return. Yeah. That makes total sense. I think this is a good time for us to take a break and thank That's our sponsors. Because <laughs> we have some very special sponsors that enable us to, to be here today. And uh -huh. I'd like to take a few minutes and thank our sponsors. That would be wonderful. And so tonight we have our, a special thanks to metgox.com. They are an online exchange services for Bitcoins. They now take Euros, British Pounds, and Australian Dollars, as well as Canadian Dollars. Continuing fees of 0.3% now through August 9th. And I'd love to thank usgoldcoins.com. That's 1-800-HOTCOIN, our trusted advisor for investments in rare gold and silver coins. Andy takes the mystery out of buying silver and gold by holding your hand. They take a hands-on approach. Better to call and speak directly for current inventory. Again, that number is 1-800-HOTCOIN. And I'd love to thank Mezagrill.com, where authentic Mediterranean food meets modern flavor. Now serving breakfast at 8th Avenue and 55th Street in New York City, just a couple of blocks south of Columbus Circle. And I'd love to hear from you. Give me a jingle at my Ask a Yell It voicemail at 212-569-6969. Again, 212-569-6969. You can't forget that number. Mm -hmm. Or you may email me. You can email me at I yell it at onlyonetv.com. If you ask me a question, I may answer it on an upcoming episode. Again, that's I yell it, A Y E L E T, at onlyonetv.com. And so, Tim, we were saying right before we took a break to thank mm -hmm. our sponsors, we were saying how we must know ourselves and be true to ourselves and uh -huh. truly love ourselves. Mm -hmm. Not just say we do right. in order to attract the same in return. So tell me about what's happening in your relationships now or your dating experience these days or who are you meeting or, or would you rather tell me about your last relationship and we can maybe identify what happened there and what well, the lessons were for you to have acquired from that experience. Well, honestly, I don't, I can't say that I've ever had yet a truly healthy loving relationship. Why do you think that is? I wasn't in the place yet. I wasn't in in the proper place, when which is where I'm I'm working on that now. I'm working on myself. So you're a, okay, that's good. Always work mm -hmm. on yourself first. But where but but again your life is valuable. Time is precious. So mm -hmm. if there's an opportunity right now, right here, why put it off because you're still working on yourself? Oh I agree. I agree. Um just something I want to caution is, you. Um about. I did have I had a, a gentleman that I have been seeing, but it's he's in Israel. Okay. And we've only get to see each other see each other um, every six months or so. Okay. But he has really made some efforts to get to New York. Okay. To visit me. Has he visited which you? Has, yes, twice. Oh, wonderful. Which has 
I mean, that really says something to me. Yes. Did he come I, specifically for you? Did he have business here or were there other No, he has family here as well. Okay, good. But he made a specific point to try to get back to New York. Okay. After he had met me, which I... I Nobody's ever done that for me before. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> we all, it, it feels good to be honored. Yes, yes. But truly. we must be complete. We must be wholly honored. Mm -hmm. And sometimes certain people are in your life, but there, there are inherent limitations in certain relationships. Right. And it's what I've, what I've learned in my experience is accepting what it is. Oh, I, I have a theory. Mm -hmm. I, you know, a business, businesswoman, I'm an entrepreneur as well and a CEO of a company. Mm -hmm. So... You know, you learn to look at balance sheets. And I think right. that language talks to a lot of the people out there in our audience, mm -hmm. you know, when you're looking at a balance sheet. Right. And, and my theory is very simple. I love everyone. Mm -hmm. Okay? Same here. I love everyone because that's what it's about. I truly, mm -hmm. truly do. I care. I love. I want to help. I want to share. And would happily and readily give my love to anyone who deemed an interest and need for it. Mm -hmm. However, I too am becoming who I am. Mm -hmm. And I have needs. So, when we look at a relationship, we look at the balance sheet, okay? And we are looking at assets, liabilities, and right. capital, right? right? I'm accounting 101, right? <laughs> so, Assets, liabilities. So now certain people come into our lives and they're assets. Like you're an asset mm -hmm. to me. I love you. And you likewise. And thank you for joining <laughs> me today and, and honoring me with your presence. It means so much to me. So you're an asset to me. Now, there are people in our lives that come in and they're assets. We, we give and receive, not take, mm -hmm. receive. Mm -hmm. If you're a taker, not good. Right. The Kabbalah teaches us to receive with an open hand. We receive with an open mm -hmm. hand. If I'm going to hand you a bottle of water, you'll sit the, like you are just now and you'll allow me to place it before you and you'll receive the gift I'm offering you. Mm -hmm. People who take don't really think about who's the gift. They just want to take yeah. that which is, which is being given to them. Mm -hmm. Now, in business, we need to be aggressive sometimes. We need to take, we need to ask for. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm the first one will say, ask. Don't take, ask. Mm -hmm. And if you get great, and if not, it doesn't hurt to, you, exactly. you can't get the sale unless you ask. Right. So ask. Okay. But we're looking at assets. So there are people in our lives that are just assets. And maybe that they come into our lives to be a blessing for us, to be an aid to us, to be a source of support or strength or, or something. And it's for, you know, there's that old thing. I'm sure you've heard it on the internet. Um, we have friends for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Right. Which are you. Mm -hmm. And we're, they're all there for a reason. And we're all there for a season. We can only hope that they will stay for many seasons. And sometimes they're not. Right. And there's a reason for that. Mm -hmm. Because as is the natural order of the universe, as is inherent in the universal truths that infiltrate our soul and that is part of our life existence i mean it's ev everything in life is, cycl is cyclical our bodies mm -hmm. yeah. our, our our biological um processes um the seasons the way the world everything sure. is, na is a, has a natural order to it um we can if an, if we, are be, if we are truly conscious, we can identify when the season's up mm -hmm. and it's time to move up, to move right. on. If we are conscious, we can identify if maybe the context of the relationship might change now mm -hmm. and now it's going to become something else. Maybe it's a new season in your life. Mm -hmm. And this, by the way, can be seen and forecasted through the tool of astrology, just so you know, when we can identify certain mm -hmm. stages cool. and phases. For example, the midlife crisis at 42, mm -hmm. otherwise known as the last chance. You know, it's when, <laughs> it's when Uranus, uh -huh. the planet of change, revolution, which is inherent in your soul, because your Jupiter rules the sign of Aquarius at the time mm. of your birth. I took a glimpse before uh -huh. we sat today. Um, so when Uranus... It takes Uranus 84 years to transit the zodiac. 
Mm, so it takes okay. it 84 years to return the exact same place on your natal chart, which is mm, why it would be an ideal wow. age to die. My grandfather died at 83. He was approaching his Uranus return. Mm -hmm. There you go. Um, Uranus opposes, Uranus in the sky, so guess what happens at 40 years to 42 years after your birth date? Uranus, okay, from the time of your birth, all the planets in the sky are, we take a photo shot, a photo shot of the sky at the exact date, time, and place of your birth, and this mm -hmm. is a map of your psyche. And you were born and boom, the world continues to move, right? Mm -hmm. Life is constantly right. moving. The only thing constant in life is change. We're constantly changing, constantly moving, constantly growing. And the saddest thing I see for certain individuals is stagnancy. Right. And most importantly, your spiritual and emotional stagnancy is not being able to grow. And, um, and that's a great challenge is to find a partner you can grow with yeah. and develop yeah. with. Mm -hmm. and my research tells that less than 2% of couples have what I refer to as a true connection, a lasting, mm -hmm. truly loving relationship. Yeah. And 98% of relationships are doomed to fail. 65% mm -hmm. split up, 35 or more percent stay unhappily together right. for right. religion, appearances, right. um, the family. Fa whatever, mm -hmm. superficial institutions instituted by right. society, Yep. okay? And family is, you know, we're born into a family, a very dear friend of mine, I don't know if he's watching, but his name is Uri, we were 15 year old teenager kids, uh -huh. I was 15, he was 16 or 17, we were hanging out, yes, I used to smoke cigarettes, but it was only socially, <laughs> and I was never addicted. <laughs> We were hanging out smoking and hanging out late night and we were talking about mysticism and he shares some of my background, my um, eth ethnic background. And uh, he used to say to me that we can't control the family we're born into, True. but we can, con we can determine or decide. And most, most, of, most of us can, but, st but still fail to do so. Mm -hmm. But we have the power to choose and create the family we truly wish to have. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it doesn't even have to be biological. Sometimes your family be, here, Oscar's waking up. This is my little boy. <laughs> sometimes your family could be your best friend 3,000 miles away. Uh -huh. Sometimes your family can be, I mean, that's family. I agree. That's family. It's not, you know, ceremony. Right. It's not superficial appearances. It's, it's not, not DNA. Me. And it's not necessarily, well, I have to say, it's not, well, family is in DNA, but I have a thing for blood. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be true to your blood to the extent that you're able to. Mm -hmm. To the extent that you're able to. Never, ever at the expense of your soul. Mm -hmm. Nothing you ever do. I, mean, I will never profess to do anything at the expense of your soul, even if it's DNA. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. And back to the, the balance sheet, ask her, please sit, mommy. Thank you, Angel. Um, back to the balance sheet, we, we, we were talking assets, liabilities, and capital, right? Mm -hmm. So there are certain, some, certain DNA could be toxic for you. Mm -hmm. Right. And as much as you love that person, that person is liability, liability, liability. Now, yeah. there may come a time and place, those. there may come a time and place where you may afford because your capital account is kind of plumped up. So you know what, you might be able to afford that liability. Mm -hmm. You're following me? Yeah. But if you're at a time in your life when you just can't, because you're just fighting for every ounce of breath you can get, mm -hmm. for every ounce of sanity you can muster up, then you just can't. It doesn't mean you don't right. love that person. It doesn't mean you don't empathize with that person. It doesn't mean you don't have compassion for that person. Mm -hmm. It just means that you just can't relate to that person one-on-one -on -one right now. You can't honor that person or that person isn't able to honor you right. because of their toxicity. Right. That's their issue. That's their mm -hmm. challenge. I'm sure people around you may have experienced that when you were going through your dark phase of mm -hmm. the abuse. Any type of abuse is toxic. Mm -hmm. Whether it's drugs, whether it's alcohol, well, whether those, it's those were the people that I had all around me at that during that time, and so they were because that's who I attracted were people very toxic people, and they were 
contaminating you. Yeah, yeah. And even though your soul was saying, no, 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 this isn't right, this isn't me, right, exactly. this isn't me. But it was hard to break it. Oh, my darling, the word is habit. Yes, yes. We You're start doing right. things. We are, I was thinking about this actually in my drive into the city today. Human beings are creatures of habit and it takes exactly yes. three weeks. And it's that simple. Correct. That's to simple. change a habit. Three weeks. And all, and all you do is, and I've been in places before where I've acquired some habits that I wasn't very, you know, happy with. Mm -hmm. And all it takes is three weeks. In fact, I just had to re-up my, my training strategy and lose a few extra pounds, etc. Mm -hmm. And I went on a very high protein diet. Mm -hmm. My bad cholesterol went up 25 points. And guess what I was doing? Eggs, egg, and I love eggs. They're inexpensive, mm -hmm. they're nutritious, you know, over easy, yeah. sunny side up. I know when I was a kid, I never ate those, I never ate sunny side up, but I have acquired uh -huh. a taste for them these days, believe it or not. <laughs> Just a little a fresh crushed red pepper uh -huh. with some extra virgin olive oil, and it's like the best. <laughs> and I was doing it, and then I got my blood work, 25 points higher LDL, 25 points higher triglycerides. The good yeah. stuff stayed exactly the same because for the most part, my good stuff is, is, is what it is. Mm -hmm. But I haven't touched an egg since that day. It's almost two months mm. now. Wow. Now, you could have called that an addiction. I mean, there were like days where I would have three, and it would be like yeah. three eggs at a gig, five eggs at a yeah. gig, five hard boiled eggs, boom, boom, boom. That was my meal of the day. So any habit can be changed. Mm -hmm. I agree. Just stop. Mm -hmm. Throw it up, say no more. Well, I love me. Well, it takes me. a conscious effort. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely. No, it's a, a conscious choice. Yes, correct. Not effort. Choice, my darling. That's Just say true. no. Say no to the first joint. Say no to the first cigarette. Mm -hmm. Say no. Bad relationship, bad situation. The, I, mm -hmm. Okay, you're privy to my one-on-one -on -one because you're honoring me today. <laughs> the three rules I teach my clients in my first session are the following. Rule number one. Princi my principles, my always I love principles to life, love, and relationships. Everything is indicative of everything. Anything and everything you want to learn about a person, you will learn within the first five minutes of knowing wow. him. Wow. Uh-huh. Everything is indicative of everything. The question is, are you aware? Are you conscious? Mm-hmm. It's not going to change. It is what it is. It will get back. It, 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 it won't. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. The symptom is there. I'm not talking to analyze people and misdiagnose them with. Do you realize that 40% of the no, children are being feel. are being diagnosed with bipolar disorder? Just as a side note, yeah. everybody's like misdiagnosing everybody. On the, I'm, yeah. I'm really nauseous with that. But my thing is, um, rule number one: everything is indicative of everything. Mm -hmm. It's their day one, and maybe you weren't aware of it. But I'll bet you any relationship that you want to talk about with me. Mm -hmm. Go back to your first date. Whatever broke you up five years later, three years later, six months later, three months later, three weeks later, three days later, was there in the first, first five minutes you, you attracted with this person. Hmm. Think about it. Rule number two. And my friend Andy Gauz, the numismatist, yeah. will love this one. There's two sides to every coin. And I, I coined hmm. this before he... I, before I knew him, so I've been saying this for a lot longer than I've known Andy. But there's two sides to every coin. Every energy in the universe, my darling, has a positive mm -hmm. and negative manifestation. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't accept the one without the other. Mm -hmm. And we must be conscious of the good and the bad within ourselves and within each other. Mm -hmm. And work, mm. not work, but strive to be strive to choose to manifest the best of our individual human potential. I agree. And if you say you love someone and you recognize he has a shortcoming in your view and your checklist mm -hmm. in your mind or whatever it is, which I believe I believe you should eradicate because that's not how you're going to find your true love. Mm -hmm. Your true love, my darling Timothy, is going to love and honor you and be anything and everything you need exactly mm -hmm. where and when you need it. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. Without asking. Mm -hmm. And it will blow your mind. He's not gonna look like anything you've ever imagined. Mm -hmm. He may not have any of the credentials or any of the superficial exteriors you could ever contemplate or fathom in your ideal mind mm -hmm. or dreams. But if you learn to love yourself when he appears and reveals himself to you, 
you will receive him mm -hmm. and not reject him. And then he will be, in my view, because I only know you, I don't know him uh -huh. yet. yet. <laughs> or maybe I do and I don't know yet. We'll yeah, have to that match could be. me later. But um, <laughs> if and when you, re you reveal who he is, he will be more blessed for having you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. As you are uh, yeah. for having him. Exactly, I agree. And um, that's, but you need to recognize the two, because even he is not going to be perfect. Oh, right, so when, right. But he's going to be perfect for you. Exactly, perfect fit. And when you identify certain of his traits that you love about him, recognize, my darling, that there's the other side of that coin. Oh, of course, of and course. The, 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 where I come into the scene is, you can always come in for a couple's coaching session, is where I bring those issues to light. Once they're in the light, and I'm sure you learn this in rehab recovery, once you admit, mm -hmm. once you bring an issue to consciousness, it can't plague you. You're yeah, cured. Right. That's mm -hmm. it. He's this ambitious, uh, hard-working um, Wall Street guy. He works 90 hours a week. You know what? You love his cars. You love his this. But guess what? He's going to be working 90 hours a week. So yes. you're not, he's not going to be home at 6 o'clock for dinner if that's what you're into. Uh -huh. But you're, really, you're more into the, the power, the prestige, and all that. That's Okay, let's just, I'm giving a theoretical. Yeah, exactly. Okay? So recognize that the other side of the coin is that he's not going to be available. I agree. Physically, because he's working 90 hours a week. That makes sense. And accept to me. that about him. Don't go mm -hmm. off and have an affair with a pool boy. Yeah. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? <laughs> Are you following what I'm saying? Yeah, accept exactly. yourself for two sides of the coin. Sure. And acknowledge it in your other and accept him for what mm -hmm. it is. And the third, and you're going to love this. Mm -hmm. Because you kind of touched upon it, because it, that, that, that also is an indication to me as a professional of your level of evolution, for, and I'm, I'm mm -hmm. commending you. Thank you. Without sounding, without sounding arrogant, but commending you. Rule number three, my darling, is we attract what we are. Yeah. At the exact date, time, and place that you need to meet whomever it is you are destined to meet, you will. Right. And they're right. here to teach you something about yourself. Mm. Not potentially confine you for a life of misery mm -hmm. if this person is making you miserable, isn't fulfilling you, isn't attract you're not attracted to them potentially, you're not they're not making you happy. Um, you okay, but delicious? <laughs> you're just changing sides there, huh? Um, if you are conscious that we attract what we are and you're on the at that stage mm -hmm. and evolution of where you are, that means you're ready for, you, you're, you will. You yeah, know what I mean? I'll, yeah, and, when I'm ready. And, and again, it's a two-way street. And, even, and if you have still some work to do, then you're going to meet the right person who's going to help you do that work mm -hmm. for you. Yep, exactly. He's going to enhance you. Exactly. And it's doable right now. You don't have to wait. Mm -hmm. you know, people are always waiting for practical concerns and the mm -hmm. right, there is no time. This is it. This is not a dress rehearsal yeah. on live TV, you know? This is not a dress rehearsal. <laughs> this is it. This is your one chance at living and being whole with your soul. And that is the purpose of why we are here. So again, mm -hmm. everything is indicative of everything. There are mm -hmm. two sides to every coin and mm -hmm. we attract what we are. So if you don't know why this deadbeat is on your doorstep, look within, right. learn the lesson within and say no. I deserve more. I agree. I deserve better. Mm -hmm. End it. Close the door. Grieve. Cry. Be alone. And it's okay. Mm -hmm. Loneliness is not being alone. One can be more lonely in, in love, a yeah. in a relationship. I agree. Than they are alone. I'm not, a, you know. And someone taught me this many, many years ago. A very dear friend, very early in my life, said to me, when I was going through a, um, an experience, if you will, a mm -hmm. lesson, a life lesson, he said, I yell at, his, his name was Gusta Rocco, he said, I yell at, it is better to be alone and lonely than lonely with someone. Uh, yeah, and that loneliness with someone only manifests in unfaithfulness to yourself, unfaithfulness right. to your Very other, true. to everyone. Mm -hmm. You're hurting everyone. And the greatest gift we can give ourselves and all parties involved is our truth. Dr. Mm -hmm. Zeus said it, he said it best. He said, 
be who you are and say what you think because those who mind don't matter and, and those, those who, who matter, matter don't, don't mind. mind. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so, my God, I can't believe how much fun. fun oh, I know. Like, this is great. I, I mean, really, we got, I, I really we got me, like to I, the bottom of yeah. some really deep issues here. Yeah, this I is amazing. So. I love that. The crux of it, I guess, and in case any part of the audience has missed any part of it, is truth. Yeah, definitely. It's the truth. The truth, we're only in truth, there is freedom. Mm -hmm. Only in truth, there is freedom. And that truth is etched in your soul before you came to earth. It's going to be with you when you go. And think about that. Mm -hmm. You can't take, you know, you can't take anything with you. What you take with you is your soul. Mm -hmm. And um, make every day count. Live it to your fullest. I agree. And, um, and I'm here to help in any way I can. <laughs> um, just to... Uh, tell the audience again that I, I really would love to hear from you or see you in person. I am available for private consultations one-on-one -on -one anywhere, anywhere in the world. <laughs> um, I'm also available for limited speaking engagements around the world. You may reach me at my Ask I Yell It voicemail, which is 212-569-6969. Again, that number is 212-569-6969 or email me at ayelet at onlyonetv.com. That's ayelet, A-Y-E-L-E-T, at onlyonetv.com. Um, I'd love to hear from you. If you ask any questions in email or voicemail, I may answer them live in an upcoming episode and perhaps even have you on as a guest. I would, um, again, love to hear from you. I wish you lots of love. Always, I am, I yell it. Always, I yell it. And Timothy, <laughs> I really want to thank you so much for honoring oh. me today with your presence. And I hope you will continue on your journey to holism. Most definitely. And developing a true connection, a lasting, truly loving relationship. And the, the greatest word I can teach you is no. Just yeah. <laughs> say no. If it's not right at the beginning, indicative, just say no. Right. Uh -huh. And your heart knows it. Yep. And avail yourself to the one who's there waiting for you, who will love you for who you are, mm -hmm. accept you as you are. You don't have to change a thing. Mm -hmm. Just be and be the best that you can. I agree. Ayala, thank you so much. Thank you for the truth. You're welcome. It's my absolute pleasure. <laughs> and thank you, audience, and uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.